Hello, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of the Nevada Pain Network, where we bring you anything and everything educational for pain management. Today the topic is an overview of medial branch blocks. Back and neck pain in this country is rampant. Nine out of ten Americans will experience back pain at some point. Back pain is the second most common reason people see a doctor just behind the common cold. It's the leading cause of disability in those under the age of 45. Up to 40% of those who undergo back surgery are unsuccessful and end up with chronic back pain. And the cost of back and neck pain exceeds $100 billion annually. Well, when you look at the back, up and down bilaterally, meaning left and right, there are facet joints, okay? And they are cartilaginous, they're about the size of a thumbnail, and they allow significant mobility in the back and the neck the facet joints cause 45% of back pain. And they can be, they're very small, like I said, the size of a thumbnail, but they can cause very significant pain. So diagnosing the source of one's back or neck pain can be very difficult. It encompasses uh, history, physical examination, and imaging studies. And even imaging studies don't always correlate. Here's an example. On the left side here, you see a CAT scan that shows a vertebral body spinal canal, and then these are the facet joints. See how they look pristine? There's like a nice joint space. There's very, very regular there. There's no bone spurs, whereas here you have almost no joint space, a lot of bone spurring, and it's severe arthritis. You may have a situation where you see this and no pain whatsoever, and this in a patient who has very significant pain. So it doesn't always correlate between the amount of arthritis and how much pain. Then the medial branches are, you can see in a picture here, every joint, here's a facet joint with the soft tissue uh, capsule around it, it has to have sensation in order to feel pain. If a joint doesn't have any nerve endings going to it, it has no nerve supply, it's not going to feel anything. So here's a nerve root coming out from the spine, and off of it you have these medial branches that supply sensation to the joint. Okay, they're not nerve roots, they're nerve endings. They don't supply any motor function, it's only sensation. When a medial branch block is performed, it's performed for one of two reasons. One is if a pain doctor says, you know what, I'm pretty sure the pain is coming from one of these facet joints. I'm going to do a medial branch block and inject numbing medicine around these medial branches and maybe some steroid medication to stop the transmission of pain signals. And if it works, then it's diagnostic for that joint causing the pain. The other reason to do a medial branch block is that in and of itself, that injection can provide an average three months of pain relief. It's an outpatient procedure. It takes less than 20 minutes. You don't need sedation for it. It's very effective for a very low risk procedure. And the diagnostic part helps pain doctors figure out if the joint is the source of the pain. If the joint injection, the medial branch block works well and then it wears off, it can either be repeated or the person can go on to have a radio frequency ablation, which is a procedure that burns these medial branch endings and nerve endings and can provide three, um, I'm sorry, six to 24 months of pain relief. And therapeutically, we talked about the fact that on average, three months of pain relief from the procedure, the procedure works well in over 85% of patients. And studies show that if it wears off and you have a repeat procedure, it works just as well. A radio frequency ablation provides thermal heat and energy to this area where it deadens the medial branches, okay, and that can provide, as mentioned, up to two years of pain relief. The Nevada Pain Network works with board-certified, fellowship-trained pain doctors who offer over 50 treatment options and accept over 50 insurances. There are several locations in and around Las Vegas, Summerlin, Henderson. The doctors have won the Patient's Choice Award for five years in a row. The number to schedule is 702-323-0553. And check us out on the web at nevadapainnetwork.com. So if you or a loved one is experiencing acute or chronic back or neck pain, give us a call. Be happy to help you. I'm Dr. David Green with the Nevada Pain Network. Your pain stops here.